now I'm at the corner of Westwood, turning right onto International Drive. This is the newer end of International Drive, which heads on out towards Disney. Coming up on my right is a series of resorts. This first one has changed names a few times, so I'm not sure what it is right now. What are they calling it these days? Blue-green or something? Today, that one is called... Worldmark. That is the Worldmark Resort. To my left are these apartments, and I forget the apartments are called. Something Spanish. And to my left is more apartments. <laughs> I really, I cannot believe I'm forgetting the names of these places. Lakeview Resorts. Uh, this is the Blue Green Resort on my right. That's very, very large. Off to my left is what the heck is the name of that? It's not a Westgate. Alta at Lake Eve. I believe that's apartments. Flora Days Resort is to my right. Coming up on Vineland Road, where if you made a right, if you make a right here on Vineland Road, you're going to come out by uh, Premier Mall. As a matter of fact, let me let me make this little turn here. There's a Publix and a Walgreen on the corner, and you come up to the traffic light. they call these premium outlets. To my left is another Hilton Vacation Club. I've been here before. They have really good hamburgers and I, I jammed. That's the, uh, that's the Hilton Grand Vacation Club and I forget which one it is. It's, uh, Let's get around this bus. Right, off to my left are the uh, Orlando Premium Outlets. It's probably the best mall in Orlando. I always pack good prices. I've shopped there a bunch, taken a bunch of people there. They always love it. In front of us used to be Dolly, Hart Dolly Parton's Dixie Stampede, which she bailed on when the mall across the street wanted to make a parking lot out of it. And the story we get is that the employee showed up one day and it was just closed, which was, I don't know. Anyway, they've finally gotten back to building the land out around there and they're putting a bunch of stuff in. We'll continue around the premium outlets a little bit. Um, I'm not particularly Catholic or anything like that, but up on my left here is the Mary Queen of the Universe uh, church, whatever you want to call it. It's a, it's a really beautiful church. I've actually been there a few times for Christmas to see the nativity. And once I get past the church, I'm just going to turn around. Can't do this. Oops. Mary, Queen of the Universe Shrine. They do have some art in that museum in there, uh, 15th, 16th century stuff. And again, here's another view of the uh, premium outlets. Uh, I'm not going to do that tour. I'll save that tour for another day because that's going to burn a few batteries, I'm sure. But if you can, as you can see, the cars every day, rain or shine, this parking lot is full. It's a, it's an outdoor mall, a lot of Europeans. Um, if you're in Orlando, equate Europeans with smoking. No, not all Europeans smoke, but it's just more prevalent.
gotta tell you, there's another McDonald's. Hey, there's another McDonald's. People at the bus stop waiting for the trolley. Boy, are they gonna be let down. They should get on the number eight bus. He's much better. Okay, going back past that same Hilton Grand. I'm just curious to know if my battery's gonna last this whole trip. We got about another, another 10 minutes of driving. Okay, we're getting back out to International Drive. If you were to come from the airport and take 417, this would be uh, where I'm going right now is, is where you might get off if you were heading to Disney. So we've got more condos off to our right. Those are kind of nice. Back, back here in this area to our right is something called the Commons. The Commons is where um, Disney will hire people from Europe for summer jobs, temporary jobs that I've caught, things like that, and they give them a place to stay. So back in there is a nice area where a lot of Disney employees live, and they have their own private beach for Disney employees. Uh, it's just a kid's joint. Never knew anybody who lived there, just know about it. Boy, do they collect the shopping carts from Publix. <laughs> I kind of think you're in the middle of nowhere out here because it's not developed yet. Um, I don't know, I, I just have a feeling it's going to look like any other part of Orlando in about 10 years, all full of strip malls and hotels and resorts. I kind of like it right now. This part of the trip gets a little boring. Alright, then you're coming up to the end of it, and you're going to see a whole mess of signs. If you were to go right, that would take you directly into Disney. Do not stop, do not turn go. Turn right at the end of International Drive, and just keep going straight until you cross underneath the big Welcome to Disney signs. Off to our left is uh, Disney's bank called Partners. That's their... Um, what do you call a bank that's not a bank? A, uh, I'm getting brain farts today. Like I said, if you go right, that'll take you straight into Disney. If you go left, it'll take you straight back to the airport. As for me, I am taking a U-turn, and we're going to go back up International Drive. I'm going to break this and turn it into two videos.